factorize m square minus 11m plus 10. So we are going to ask ourselves that we find two numbers. Let those two numbers be, uh, say, be something like e and f. Those two numbers e, when we multiply by f, they should give us m squared times 10, which is 10m squared. And when we add e plus f, they should give us uh, the middle term, which is negative 11m. So we have to think about the pairs of numbers. There are so many pairs of numbers. For example, here we can have uh, negative 1 and negative 11, ne negative 10. That is one of the pairs. You add them, you get negative 11. You multiply them, you get uh, a positive 10 m squared. So uh, we can think of having this combination because it fits. If we take maybe positive 1 and 10 and positive 10, 1 plus 10 is 11, but it is not negative to be positive, so it does not satisfy this situation. Although 1 times 10 is 10, positive 10 m square. So it fits here, but it does not fit here. But for this one, when you multiply it, uh, negative 1 times negative 10, you get pos positive 10. When you add negative 1 and negative 10, you get negative 11. So it satisfies both conditions, here and here. So uh, <coughs> we, now, we are now going to split this middle term by using this combination of numbers. So negative 1 and negative 10, uh, we, we are going to write it is in this form. So it will be negative 1, negative m minus 10 m so i have written this in this form this choice of numbers have been written in this form so instead of having negative 11 m we are going to substitute this uh, this combination of m so we are going to see that uh, equals to m square m square uh, minus m minus 10m plus 10 uh, and then we are going to group them we are going to group them uh, we are going to group them and then after that we are going to factor out the common element for example here we have m square and m so we are going to take one m out and uh, when we take one m out here we remain with one another m but here when m has gone out we are going to remain with one so m minus one then we take away again here we try to check which common element can we take out we have 10 here and we have 10 here so we are going to take out 10 then we are going to remain with m because 10 has gone out and then here we are going to remain with uh, 1 because 10 has gone out here it has to be negative so that when we multiply negative 10 times negative 1 we, we go back to the original form which is pos uh, positive 10 so when we reach at this stage we see here m m minus 1 and m minus 1 we take uh, one of the pair take one out of this pair which is m minus 1 and then we take m minus 10 m minus 10 
Yes. So we have already factorized our expression. Thank you.